technology, the, te the amount of technology that's been used in industry is nearly beggar's belief. Uh, we have, uh, last month I had a company coming to me asking me if we could promote the robotic feeding system. So this is a, a system where uh, we would just, the, the farmer, somebody like John, would just fill bins of food and then press a button and walk away. And this robot would mix the feed, would uh, deliver it into a little uh, trolley, a robotic trolley. It would drive up, this, uh, it would come out and it would feed the sheep. And when it was empty, it would go back and refill itself and then carry on and feed all the sheep. And uh, when I looked at it, I thought, well, where are we going next? Um, <laughs> it years, I'm afraid. <laughs> Wouldn't be good for your alcohol prolong. Um, that tractor outside, it's, uh, it's not quite driverless, but uh, the, theoretically the driver can take it to the field, press a button, and that will go up and down and do all the work for him. He's got to be in it so that um, if it, something goes wrong or somebody walks out in front of it, it doesn't run over. But uh, we have that technology now. Um, the mo it can be monitored from Finland <coughs> and where it's made. If something goes wrong, the call can come in to us in, uh, over there, the thing will I'll tell us that there's a problem with the tractor even before it's stopped. It's, uh, um, we've got, in, in agriculture certainly, I don't know about forestry, but we've now got targeted application of uh, nutrients and chemicals onto the crops. And that's done by GPS, it's done by the machine altering um, the, its rate of spread of the material in it. Now, all that technology has to work. Somebody has to design it, somebody has to install it, and somebody has to fix it when it goes wrong. And these are the people that we are needing to come into our industry, young people that understand how this equipment works. We can train them how to fix it, we can train them how to operate it, we can train them how to install it, but I'm sure you can understand that the sort of people that would be involved in that are not the under underachievers in school, it's really highly skilled people that we're looking for, and the remuneration is there for them, it's not a, it's not a low skilled, low paid industry that we're in, it's highly skilled and highly paid. We have just, we have GPS, radar, laser, optical analytics, already in, in regular use in agriculture and forestry. Your forestry harvesters are telling the sawmill what they're cutting, they're telling them the dimensions of the logs that they're cutting. The sawmill, the guy at the sawmill's putting in his computer that he's wanting logs three metres long, and that's what the harvester cuts all the way. So the sawmill knows what the harvester cut that day and they know what they're going to get in and they can direct the harvester to cut what they want. So technology is phenomenal and it's only improving and it's only it's reducing waste it's uh, making the, the operator's job easier so he's not so stressed work isn't so hard 